Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my plan with me for last week, which was the 5th to the 11th of April. And I'm using this kit from Simply Watercolor Co. This is the Hazel kit. It is the full kit on matte paper with rose gold foil. Um, and I did purchase this on Black Friday. So this kit is no longer available. Um, and I do believe she now has like, um, like another um, kit format as well so you can now have like a deluxe kit which has more pages and I think there's like more foil but yeah um so yeah this is my first time trying a kit from her shop and it was definitely a learning curve but um I did really enjoy how it turned out in the end anyways um and the date covers I use this week are from uh Planet Goddess Studio which is an Australian shop and then um as always I did also put down the washi at the top and also my sidebar which you will see when I do the other side of the um, spread. But yeah, starting off on Monday, I put my full box down the bottom and then I did just put um, one of the bow headers on top because this kit did come with um, two sets of bow headers and then like a patterned header. So I decided to use the pattern header in the middle um, to split up the sort of bow headers, I guess. And then I did sort of um, do my usual scattered pattern. So yes. Anyways, so the first thing I wanted to mark down on Monday was that it was Easter Monday which was a public holiday here in Australia um, and I believe in most Commonwealth countries as well um, and maybe some countries in Europe, other countries in Europe. Um, but yeah, so we had Easter Monday, so I used this Easter Monday script from Arctic Paper Studio and I did also add in um, a little Easter sticker that I had from Starlight Paper Studio. I think I was looking for a sticker to use because I was like, oh, I need to spruce this up a little bit um, and I didn't want to use like the Decca from the kit because this kit wasn't like... Easter themed I guess it was like a autumn theme so yeah I did end up pulling this little um panda stick off from Starlight Paper Studio <laughs> sorry my mind is a little blank right now um so yes and then moving on I marked in driving which I accidentally put the icon on the same side so um I didn't notice until I went to put it down and at that point I was like mm, I'll just leave it <laughs> so because I had already written on the sticker um so yeah I just marked in that I had my driving lesson and then um, this week my mum was on holidays from work because she did have a week off, um, which was nice. So yeah, I marked in um, that we went to brunch, which was really nice. And we had um, like chicken, chicken sandwiches, which were really, really good. Um, so yeah, we, I think we had juice that day because it was quite warm for I think most of this week. And then the weather sort of cooled down towards the end of the week. But yeah, so I used that little coffee cup sticker, which is from Paper and Milk, and then the car icon that I used was from Hello Pretty Paper. And the pen that I used is the uh, Pilot G2 in 0.38, I believe. Um, so yeah, so then moving on, um, I marked in doing a grocery run, because after we went for brunch, we went and did a grocery shop, because I think we had to buy like almond milk and like a few other things. Um, and I think we had or originally intended on going to get like cold meat as well but the um like the butcher that we go to wasn't open because it was a public holiday so we weren't able to do that but we did um go grocery shopping and then after that um mom and I had a nap because we were a little exhausted um and yeah I think it, like I said it was quite warm at the beginning of this week so the heat always makes you feel a little tired um, so yeah, and then at the bottom, I wanted to mark in a K-pop comeback. So on that day, Astro, um, which is a K-pop group, had their second full album, which was super exciting. I enjoyed um, a few of their songs, not not every single song on the album, unfortunately, but I did enjoy like a good portion of it, which was nice. Um, so yeah, so I used the um, headphones sticker, which is from the GP Studio, and so is the Sleeping Mask. And then just finishing filling that in and then moving on to Tuesday. So moving to Tuesday, I put my full box at the top and I tried to alternate with like doing um, like a foiled full box and then a non-foiled full box and then so on and so forth. Um, just because there wasn't necessarily like one color that was more than the others, if that makes sense. Like normally there's like, okay, if you have a kit, there'll be like four blue full boxes and three pink boxes, that kind of thing. Um, but for this, like the colors were quite even. So I just decided to do like foiled and then non-foiled and then like I said I followed the pattern which later on in the spread I kind of confused myself with the pattern um so maybe one week I might just like try doing like the same headers for each row if that makes sense um but we'll see 
Um, so yeah, so the first thing I marked in on, yes, first thing I marked in on Tuesday was um, a bill, which was my Apple Music, which comes out automatically from my um, Apple account. So I used a bill due sticker, which was from Crest Press. Um, that was left over from a kit that I had used in February, I believe. Because um, this kit did come with a little bill due sticker, but it was very small. Um, and so I wanted to use like, you know, um, a full-sized one, I guess. And then I marked in going to Pilates because uh, we tried something a little different this week and we went to Pilates in the mornings. So that um, sticker is from Fox and, Fox and Cactus. And then my um, Pilates studio, the Pilates studio that we go to, is like two doors down from the cafe that we normally go to as well. So we just um, decided to have a coffee afterwards and it wasn't too busy um, because a lot of people were still away like from the Easter long weekend. So um, we were able to like get a spot because normally by the time that our Pilates class finishes um, is like the peak sort of hour of people getting, you know, coffee and brunch and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that was good. Um, so yeah, the coffee cup is from the kit and then like I said, the Pilates sticker is from Fox and Cactus. And then at the bottom, I wanted to mark in bringing the bins in. So I used one of these little squared boxes and then like a piece of washi that was in the kit. And I think here I was just trying to work out how I wanted to layer this. And then I used a bin icon, which is from Naomi Loves Design. Um, so yeah, and then I marked in uh, working on the job application which this one's like a pretty quick one. It's just one of those ones you do like through the, like those listing websites. Um, so you just like apply like automatically on there, if that makes sense. Um, which I didn't get this job, unfortunately, because I did get an email. I think it was like two days later saying that I didn't get the job. But anyways, we'll keep going. Um, so yeah, I used a piece of washi and then I used this laptop sticker, which is from Stella Rose Sticker Co. Just to mark that in. And then at the bottom, I marked in... Um, working on uh, some Korean because I did buy three books from Amazon, um, the Korean from Zero series, um, and I'm just working on the first book at the moment, which it's actually working out really well for me. Um, I'm really enjoying it and I'm finding it like really easy to learn, like it's sinking in because um, you start basically learning Hangul and then it goes into um, sort of like grammar and sentences and um, you also get vocab lists with most of the chapters so you also build your vocab at the same time which is really really nice so yeah I'm just slowly working on that and I just started off like um, with just a normal notebook and then later on in the week I did go and buy a gridded notebook um, just to make it a little easier for like writing I guess um, but yeah but the book itself it has like the actual textbook and the workbook all integrated and then you can also access the um, like the sound files online um, and there's also like a copy of the book online as well like all the chapters are basically written out online so you can follow along um, really easily which is really really good so yeah I've been enjoying that so I used the um, pencil and uh, paper sticker from Starlet Paper Studio for that. So then moving on to Wednesday, Wednesday I marked in sleeping in and having a lazy morning so I used that sticker from the GP Studio and then um, I went to light therapy and I think originally I was going to use a label and I was like no there's too many labels let's add some white space so um, I did layer the little sort of bow sticker over another circle sticker um, for that which I think I'm doing now because I did try to do like a little bit of layering as I could um, this week because there was a decent amount of layering items in this kit um, so yeah so I'm just marking in light therapy which I was supposed to go again on the Friday um, but I didn't go partly because I just couldn't be bothered and then also because something else happened on Friday that made it difficult so I will get to that when I get to Friday but yeah and then um, I marked in buying some more cutting mats for my machine um, because the one that I have is so old it's like I'm pretty sure it like doesn't even stick anymore um, like we've been using washi tape to stick like the sticker paper onto it um, so yeah we just ordered a few more and hopefully um, those will arrive soon, which, I mean, my shop isn't really that active, but, um, I do, you know, cut, like, printables and stuff in my own time, so, always good to have the mats anyway. And then, um, I marked in editing a website because my dad is in the process of, like, making his own business, and I'm sort of, like, helping him with him, work at, ugh, helping him with that, what am I trying to say? Um, so, yeah, part of that was, like, just editing his website, sort of fixing the grammar and whatnot, because English is not my dad's first language, so... Um, so yeah, I just marked in that and then I also marked in yoga. So the little dollar sign is from 
uh, Hello Petite Paper, the laptop sort of computer sticker is from Stellabo Sticker Co. And then the Yoga Girl is from the GP Studio and the Yoga Script is from Harriet Wright Designs. So then moving on to Thursday, I put in my full box at the bottom. And then Thursday was like a pretty like chilled a day. Um, not a lot really happened on Thursday. So I kind of like didn't space this as well as I could have. Um, but anyways, you'll kind of see how I go with this. But um, the first thing I marked down was washing my hair because I actually had to like get up early to wash my hair because I had driving um, at like 11. And so I think I had intended to wash my hair the day before and I just forgot about it or I like couldn't be bothered. So then I had to like rush to wash my hair. I had to get up like at, I think it was like eight or something to wash my hair. And then I had enough time to like have breakfast and get ready and sort of chill before my driving lesson. And also because my hair takes a while to dry. So yeah, but um, so I used this sort of like anxious hair washing girl like she's kind of like she looks a bit stressed washing her hair so I thought that was kind of appropriate um and that sticker is from Fox and Cactus again using a squared off box this one is foiled though and then another piece of washi from the kit um and then I marked in my driving lesson which that car icon I'm not sure where it's from um because it was just in my like sort of leftovers sticker book but um yeah I just marked in that I had driving um my driving lesson which was very good I am getting like much much better with my driving like I can tell even from like a month ago that like my clutch control is better and like um, I'm able to keep the speed really well and um like my merging and like changing lanes and doing all that kind of stuff um doing like the head checks and yeah I don't know my my driving instructor is really helping me out so um yeah I think I think at first I was kind of like oh I'm frustrated that like I'm still taking lessons and it's taking me so long but I think um it's also kind of worth it at this point so yeah anyways um and then the main event for Thursday was that mum and I went to Ikea which was super fun um I think because we had to buy what did we need to buy she wanted to get some like clothing hangers and like a few other items and I think she needed like bed sheets and something else we needed a few things um so we went to Ikea and then we had lunch at the sushi train that is next to Ikea, which was super exciting. Um, so yeah, I used these like kind of moving box stickers because <laughs> they were the only kind of stickers I thought kind of worked. Um, and those are from Stellabo Sticker Co. And then later on in the afternoon, um, we did end up going out to run some errands. Um, so we went to Chemist Warehouse because we had to go and buy vitamins. And then we did also go to Office Works because I wanted to get some more Tombow markers um, because I do use my Tombow markers in the notes pages of my monthly, not, yeah, my notes pages, I guess, my monthly notes pages. Um, and I match them to like the monthly kits that I buy. So I wanted to buy those. And then I did also want to buy like a grid book for my Korean. So yeah, um, I marked that down with like a little shopping bag from uh, Plan Like a Pro. And then I also marked setting up my April notes page. So I just used the planner um, sticker, which was left over from a kit, I think. So yeah, moving on to Friday, I put my full box like super crooked, I think, or like I put it too low. So I was just trying to fix it, which um, like I said, this kit I got in matte paper. I do believe the other option in um, the shop is glossy, I think. I don't think um, Simply Water Color Code is premium matte, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, so that was kind of easy to pull up. Um, but yeah, so I just put in my full box at the top and then my headers. So yeah, moving on to the plans, I guess. Um, Friday, we went to Pilates again in the morning, which again was really nice. Um, and it was funny because we uh, went to this class and it ended up being like the instructor's final day um, because she got like a new job. So she was starting her new job. Um, I think it was the week after. So that was really kind of funny because um, we didn't even know. And then we sort of went and she was like, oh yeah, it's my last day, like blah, blah, blah. So yeah, funny coincidence, but um. Yeah, it was a good class. I really enjoyed it. And then I came home. I actually played some Rhythm High for a little bit. Um, and then I worked on another job application, which this one was something out of my comfort zone because it's a um, job in another city. But it is something that like I'm interested in and it's like relevant to what I studied at uni and everything. Um, so I don't know, fingers crossed. So I used the laptop from the kit for that. And then um, I think it was like after I had done that, I was originally planning on 
going to my light therapy and I think mum wanted to go to the city and that kind of thing and then my dad called me and he's like oh can you check if like your phone can access the internet like without your wi-fi because I'm having issues with my phone and blah 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 so as it turns out um like the phone company that we're with um Vodafone had like a whole like network outage that day so you couldn't access like the 4g it would like switch to 3g but a lot of the phones now don't even work with 3g so um that means like if you were out of your house you couldn't basically access the internet or like do anything um, and for most places I think everywhere you have to go now you have to check in with this like app that works with the um, the internet you know so if you don't have internet it won't work um, and I know that most places are supposed to have paper registers but some places don't have them so we just decided to stay home that day and not do anything because we were like mm. yeah so that was kind of <laughs> that was kind of a, a mess but um it was fine because then I ended up doing a sheet mask and sort of having a lazy day. I think I had a nap and then I woke up, like had a sheet, did, had a shower, did put a sheet mask on and um, yeah, just kind of relaxed. And then that day was the ultimate planner sale. So I did purchase from um, Casey Creates and Hello Petite Paper, um, which was super exciting because um, Casey Creates is a new to me shop and I ordered two kits from her. So I'm very excited to get those. Um, and then I did also buy a printable from Planner Pixie Co for Mother's Day, which was super exciting, but yeah. And then here's where I confused myself with the headers because for some reason I like thought I messed up the order and then I'm like checking and I realized that I actually did it correct and I just confused myself in my brain. So I kind of ruined some of these header stickers, um, which was kind of frustrating. And then I sort of realized that I did it correctly the first time and so I fixed it. But yeah, I think at some point I like turn off the camera cause I like confused myself and then I kind of put it all back together. Um, but yeah. So um, the phone icon that I used on Friday was from Very Cute Designs. The um, Ava character is from Plan Like a Pro, that is the Ava Spa Day. And then um, the rest of the stickers are from the kit. And then the Pilates Girl is from Fox and Cactus. So yeah. And then just putting in my four boxes um, and the headers for the weekend, which this kit didn't come with a weekend um, banner, but that is totally fine. Because I did end up using the deco from the kit up, up at the top anyways. So yeah. So then moving on to Saturday. Saturday I sort of had a little sleep in because um, I was going out later in the day. But um, yeah, I kind of just had like a lazy morning and then I woke up because my mum was on the phone. Um, so that was fun. Anyways, um, but yeah, and then the sort of main event for that day is I went to the movies with um, my dad and his girlfriend and we went to see The Courier, which is um, with Benedict Cumberbatch. It was actually really, really good. It was really interesting as well. Um, so yeah and um I liked I liked that I kind of understood what was going on because it was like set during the Cold War and I studied the Cold War in um high school when I did history for like my final exams like my exit exams um so yeah and I think one of the units we did was the Cold War so it was it was really interesting and it was, um the movie was really well done like the pacing was really good the acting was really good it was really easy to follow um, and it was like entertaining as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't something that I would normally pick. It was actually dad's sort of pick, um, but it was good. So I enjoyed, I enjoyed that. And I hadn't been to the cinema in like a long time. I don't think, I think the last time I went to the cinema was maybe like September last year. Um, just cause there hasn't really been a lot on that interests me. So yeah, but it was nice. It was nice to go to the cinema and obviously it's safe to do so here. So yeah, so yeah, I marked in, like I said, sleeping in with the sleep mask from the GP Studio. The movie marquee is from Hello Petite Paper. And then afterwards, um, I had to go and buy some more milk because we go through almond milk like no tomorrow because I <laughs> like to drink a lot of coffee. My mum likes to drink a lot of coffee, which is really bad. But anyway, so yeah, so we go through the almond milk quite, qu quite quickly. So we try to buy like a couple um, cartons at once because it is just long life milk. So it can last a while until you open it. And then at the bottom, I marked in watching Netflix because um, actually I started this on the Friday, but I didn't have space to mark it in on Friday. So I was continuing it over the weekend, but I started watching um, Tale of the Nine Tailed, which is a K-drama because um, I think it was posted the week prior. And I had I had seen, I had heard of it um, sort of before it came out, but I didn't really know a lot about it. And I think I asked someone on Tumblr, I was like, is this show any good? And they were like, oh, it's entertaining. It's it's not the best, but it's entertaining, but I'm actually really enjoying it. So um, yeah, it's really cool. It's got like a lot of um, like mythology and sort of like urban legend, like um, Korean sort of mythology and urban legend mixed into it, which is really cool. So yeah, and then that night I also finished the book that I was reading because um, I finished 
Concrete Rose, which is the prequel to The Hate You Give, which I thought was it was okay. Um, I didn't love it as much as The Hate You Give, but it was still a really good book. Um, so yeah, and I, it just took me a while to read because I kind of like got out of got out of my habit of reading. I guess um, I kind of went through like a slump of like not wanting to do anything, and that included reading, which was why it took me a while. But yeah, so that reading sticker is from Starlight Pepper Studio. The Netflix binge is from Olive Planet Co. I believe. I think I could be wrong. Um, and then the um, little shopping bag is also from the GP Studio. And then moving on to Sunday, I had a lazy day. I think this day the weather wasn't that great um, because there was a cyclone up north. So we were getting like um, rain and wind and that kind of stuff, like the side effects of it. Um, but yeah. Um, so I marked in having a lazy day and then I did watch Netflix because I was watching more Tale of the Nine-Tailed and then I was also watching Vincenzo because the new episodes come out on um, Sundays and Mondays here. So yeah, very, very um, excited. Obviously this week that I'm doing the voiceover, they're, like that show's on a hiatus for a little bit while they, I think they're filming like new episodes or they're like kind of fixing the last four episodes or something because we're basically at the home stretch. like there's yeah, like I said, I think four more episodes and then the show is done, but it is very good and I think it's one of my favourite dramas so far that I have watched. Definitely recommend it. Um, and then I also marked in buying another yoga pass because my I had used up the one prior and then mum and I took, I think it was like two weeks off or like a week off um, from yoga. Actually two weeks off. And then, then we bought another pass so that we can go to yoga on the weekends. Um, and then I also marked in washing my hair again, which this one is a nice relaxed sticker. And then I did also print some printables. So I printed um, the printable that I bought on the Friday. And also I think another printable that I had bought a couple of weeks ago that I just never got around to printing. So that printer sticker is one that I made. Um, and then the hair washing girls from Fox and Cactus. And then I did use um, two stickers from Crest Press, so the TV and also the little foiled um, wallet which is on the circle sticker. So yeah, and then I marked in buying some more stickers because I did purchase a kit from Mum and Me Designs, which is an Australian shop. And I also purchased a kit from Planners Anonymous, which is also another Australian shop, um, both of which I have never tried like their stickers. So I'm very excited to get those in the mail. And then I ended up my evening um, buying some clip art. So I ordered um, a couple of sets from, I think it's Lay and Luna Designs, who's an Australian clip art clip art artist because she did come out with um some really cute art recently so yeah and she does do like 40% off sales quite often so um yeah also you can see my hair in this I apologize for that but yeah and then um this week that I'm doing this voiceover I'm hoping to buy some more um clip art from uh Kittenish Girl Jess because she does have a couple of sets that I want um just so I can actually get back to designing and um releasing stuff in my shop but yeah here is the finished spread and like I said I really do like how it turned out it was something a little different um and I sort of had to learn how to work with this kit because I'm so used to kits having like lots of labels and different things like that whereas this kit had like um a few amount of labels and then there was like the boxes and then mainly like layering items and whatnot but yeah, so here's what I have left from the kit, um, which I will say this sheet with the um, half boxes and stuff wasn't cut properly, which um, I know can happen. And I know that sometimes it's very hard to tell, like it'll look like it's cut and then you won't notice till you start peeling things off. Um, but I was able to get the stickers that I needed off anyways. Um, and yeah, and I didn't really have problems with any of the other sheets. I think it was just that one sheet. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this brand turned out. and. I think I will purchase again from Simply Watercolor Co. if there is a um, like kit or artwork that I enjoy. Um, and maybe I will try out her new format um, again if there's like an artwork or something that I would like to try. But yeah, that's it for this video. As always, links will be down below. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. We're going through phases. I wish I could stay but Nobody love your life.